Hi guys! Here's five great things to do when building a game. Number one on my list is having a game document. A game document will help you define your game so much better because you will be able to break down your levels, your storyline, any features you want, and it will stop feature creep. The one of the things that can kill games very quickly, or well, at game, at least game projects very quickly, because you'll be surprised how often it that can happen. Another one is having a rubber ducky. If you guys don't know what a rubber ducky is, for me, it's Wednesday. Well, this my plushy Wednesday here. My rubber ducky, I talk to my rubber ducky if I get stuck on problems. And if I get stuck on problems, I talk to it. It might sound strange and like you're going insane. It's not. Because half the time, if you say a problem, you will, instead of just thinking it, you will solve the problem inside your head. And you will work out a potential route on how to do it. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It is always mixed results. But... Half time, you will solve it. After that, for number three, creating daily tasks. As you can see here, this is my shorts list. Well, list of short ideas. If you have a list, you will do a lot more through the day than you think because you will be ticking it off as you go along. My rule is the 80-20 rule, which is you prioritize the 20% over the 80. So you you focus on two of the tasks and you will be amazed how often the other 80% gets done. Because it's just one of those weird things which happens. But it also means you know what you should prioritize and which is least important. After that, always take breaks. If you don't take breaks you will burn yourself out a lot faster and you will start hating the game you are working on, which is probably one of the worst things you can do and can happen. And lastly, and most importantly, never compare yourself to other developers. This is a very common thing because everyone wants to try to be like their favorite developer game development company if you do that you will start to burn yourself out a lot quicker and everyone has imposter syndrome at some point when building games because you think oh no this game isn't going to work but trust yourself it will if you want more advice don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and i will see you in the next video bye guys